Okay, so we're back. Uh, we got, we're here at protesting on the corner of Alakia, yeah, Alakia and uh, South King at the Central Pacific Plaza. Uh, this will be the main branch for uh, Central Pacific Bank. Uh, they took a $135 million bailout that they didn't qualify for. It took special letters and people that had accounts here that's in, within our government and uh, to specifically ask to save their bank even though they didn't qualify. And uh, with that, this whole time they've only paid back approximately 40 million of it, meaning they still owe about uh, 90 million. And uh, out of that money, they didn't even have full use of it because they're trying to tell the public that they lost 60 million dollars of the bailout. So while they're throwing people out on the streets and uh, keeping people that paid for this nice property and use of the sidewalk, they're kicking them off of here. They're, they're, they're you know, they're just being uh, some dirty, ugly people right here for bankers. And uh, well, I guess that's the norm for them all these days. They uh, feel that they don't have to uh, 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 tell the public anything, that it's all right that they lose $60 million worth of taxpayers' money while they're throwing them on the street. So we're here. We've uh, set up some tents, and uh, there's a few of us that's here that's not protesting. Uh, the HPD did show up, and uh, they were pretty cool with us. They didn't start any problems with us, and uh, very appreciative of that. Uh, they under we know the law is here, so we were able to keep from having that kind of fight for no apparent reason and still maintain our stance here. But these guys are very upset because they wanted us gone, and as they found out, they can't push us anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. We have uh, Midori here, one of the occupiers, uh, on a smaller bullhorn. Our bigger, one, my bigger one, was uh, taken in one of the raids, and they're refusing to get it back. But we're still finding means. It echoes through here. It's a nice, uh, uh, loud area here. So, uh, with the way things reverberate, and uh, <laughs> and we're getting some support and some negative, but. Overall, you know, the public's definitely watching because this is a corner of the financial district we normally don't go to. We're usually at the Bank of Hawaii. But uh, this is pretty severe. Uh, how do you lose, you know, what, like almost half of the money? <laughs> how do you lose half of the bailout money that is, that is, uh, uh screwing up the social economics of our country. I mean, we, we have people that need physical, mental health health needs. We have people that's on the street. These people are some of the people throwing people on the streets. And, uh, you know, we, need, we have people that can't even finish their schooling or can't even obtain any type of uh, higher education. We have people that, you know, that, that various needs that our government used to provide for us, but now just says, ah, screw it, whatever. You guys are irresponsible and uh, I, when Obama called the Americans irresponsible that's what got me started here and then to see these people giggling and laughing about how they've kicked people on the streets and lost half the money that's kicked them on the streets uh, and provided a means for those people to have some type of uh, care so they can survive themselves uh, that's not a funny manner. That, that's, the, that's the way this bank wants to treat its employees. It wants to treat its customers. It wants... Yeah, sorry about that. Having some diff technical difficulties there. But uh, this bank wants to laugh at people, kick them around, when they have lost almost half of the bailout money that is put Americans on the street. Uh, it's put their own customers on the street because they can't afford uh, to pay their erroneous bills and interest rates and these uh, uh, loans that have been uh, made. You know, they're just illegal loans. But, you know, on a good note, we have a judge here in Hawaii that is uh, found in favor of the public and uh, 
actually dismiss the foreclosure. Uh, I let that that information out. If you pa check back through the Twitter account, you'll see that uh, that was pretty big news. Um, very thankful of that. At least somebody within the courts is starting to realize that uh, you know these banks have done wrong. But uh, for those just tuning in, I see we just got a, another one. Uh, we're on Alakea and South King at the Central Pacific Plaza. Uh, we have our tents and a few of our occupiers here. And uh, we're definitely making uh, a stand against uh, $60 million worth of uh, bailout money that was lost. And uh, the public deserves to see how this bank treats its customers and public for its wrongdoing. The point, laugh, kick out, while well, they are the very part of the entity that has caused Americans throughout the country to end up in the streets, has caused an economic problem throughout the world, they laugh, kick more people out and uh, find it humorous that they're unable to provide a means for people to survive or live. This guy here, he thinks it's cool that he's uh, taking pictures, I don't know. You know, they got a camera right up there that's watching me, but he, he wants to take an actual photograph. I guess he's, it's momentous. He's like, oh my god, Occupy Honolulu is attacking a Hawaii bank. Well, sorry guys, you, you're not the first ones. <laughs> we always hung out at Bank of Hawaii, but you guys just toppled them. So, we're here. Here, let's go this way, Bo. We got the hockey dog with us. He's just hanging out. Come on. Let's go this way. Let's see what the public has to say. Yeah, they're upset because now we're spreading out. Have you heard about what happened with the uh, Central Bank? Um, I just want to let you know I'm recording. If you don't want your face on, I, I can turn yeah, it away. Okay, not a problem. Um, what it is is Central Pacific Bank, like a lot of the people here in Honolulu believe that mainland issues didn't happen here in Hawaii. Right. And so the, a lot of them don't understand why we're protesting at Thomas Square. And the uh, reason being is they took a $135 million bailout which most people think none of the banks did. They take $135 million out when they weren't entitled to because um, uh, they didn't qualify. Their bank is and, uh, within some of the other Occupy groups. Um, here lately, things have been uh, a lot calmer with us, but there was definite issues. You know, so, you know, we're just looking out for everybody and just kind of reminding. Yeah. That, but we're not going to make a big stance because our stance isn't against the police themselves. Correct. You know, yeah. you know, we just want to make sure everybody knows we're not here to fight with them. Just Don't. Speak. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, Thank good you. talking to you. you. Okay. Let's go to other areas here. Um, yeah, my timer. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but it keeps cutting out. That was a supporter. He had no idea that uh, a bank took uh, bailouts, and uh, she's like, "Wow." Let's see what else we can find down through here. So this is our public throughout here. They're basically unaware. They have no idea what's going on around them. A lot of them are confused. As you see, we got a nice little crowd starting to show up. And, uh... They're all kind of curious. <laughs> but at least their eyes and ears is on Occupy Honolulu. Come on, Bo. Oh, sorry, buddy. See if we can find someone else to interview up in here. I don't want to get too far away because, as you've seen, we have police and we have a lot of security that's uh, watching. The police have finally basically left, but uh, the security here is definitely uh, upset. Just making sure everybody's uh, on the safe side. Actually, 
it, just like the officer said, that they don't want us standing here. That's why I'm moving. Okay? I'm saying moving. You heard the officer. So please, don't harass me. <laughs> you gotta love, you know, I, I don't want to show disrespect for uh, a certain occupation, but you gotta love individuals like that that are are paid by a corporation to act like they're con some kind of authority and not know their own laws and rules, so, yeah, it's kind of funny. Have you guys heard about what's going on with Central Pacific Bank? No? You know the bailouts that's going on in the mainland? Well, a lot, of, a lot of people here in Hawaii believe that none of the banks uh, took part in those bailouts. They did. $135 million of it, and they lost $60 million of it. And they believe it's okay to throw people on the street and not show accountability for the money they lost. <laughs> yeah, just getting the name, getting the word out. Money was instrumental in keeping them alive until they could raise money in the public market. What's up? Central Pacific Bank, Central Pacific Bank, three hundred twenty-five million dollars in private equity funds, February two thousand and eleven. That money. I'm working on the floor. Two hundred thousand. Taking a break. So I'm interviewing people. Oh, here we are. <laughs> no, people down here. Let's go back. Let's see if we can find some more. Some more lost souls that don't believe Hawaii is the same as the mainland. <laughs> what a crazy time we're having here at OHNL. Come on, Bo. Nah, it's about the same. Well, it doesn't seem like uh, that update from Ustream is very stable. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know uh, what to do about it. I'll see if I can revert back to the older one tonight. But, um, yeah, because it's kind of all over the board. It keeps shutting down on me. Hopefully, you guys are still getting the tape, and it's coming in loud and clear with not too many hookups. Based on Central Pacific stock, so this Thursday, $13.54. Shut this off. Save some battery. I only got like 38%. I'll get back on in a few more minutes and uh, see if I can conjure up some uh, more interviews for you guys. Uh, see what the public thinks is going on. So far, uh, generally, everybody I've talked to was like confused and like disbelief. They didn't. They had no idea that Hawaii needed to borrow money too. So, well. It's kind of obvious when you have 6,000 people sleeping on the streets. I mean, 6,000 people was thrown out of a home somewhere in Hawaii. So, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Bankroll, sell the property for a lot more money, and then lose the bailout money that's, you know, causing the collapse of our economic system. That's, that's awesome. All right. Talk to you later, guys.